There he is. There he is. That's the trout. That's the one we're looking for. Nice. That's a good fish. All right, everybody, say hello to Caleb. Caleb's a 13 year old? Yeah, about. Almost 13 year old who does a lot of pond fishing for bass near his house. But today we're hoping to go put him on a speckled trout slam. We're fishing an area that I grew up fishing. I've got more fishing experience here than anywhere. Don't come here quite as often as I used to because I live a lot farther from it now. But I'm very hopeful. Conditions are very good today. Got low winds, good tide movement. Hopefully the water will be clear and we can nail some speckled trout. Oh, and Joel's along too. Say hi, Joel. What's up, everybody? Wish us luck, here we go, sunrise. Michaela, vital. All day today, it's gonna be vital that you let that bait get to the bottom, okay? Only if you like catching fish. If you like watching us catch fish, then by all means, reel it in for his bottom. Alright. Joel, hit this over here, this flat right here, but not like on this side of the grass. That's how it is dead. I'm getting the bottom like two seconds yeah, anyway. It's dead. So we're gonna have to uh Alright, fish on, fish on. Oh. Trout! Nice. There we go, Joel. Nice. Trout number one. Go right there, Caleb. Right here? Yeah, but you see that grass line? Just throw on this side of the grass. You see how it's kind of bubbles up yeah. here? All right, that's the edge of the grass. All right, right Joel's whacking him. That's a keeper. Not a giant, but he's a keeper. Caleb, let's go raid his hole, dude. Okay. It's not a spectator sport. <laughs> Show him where to cast, Joel. Right about there. Oh, there he is! Boy, did he thump it! Boy, did he thump it! Nice! I missed that. Man, do I miss that. Woo! Baby, I love it. My beloved speckled trout. Last few videos have all been largemouth bass. Certainly love catching those. But these are my babies. Man, I miss them. Oh, look, Caleb's hooked up. Get him, Caleb. Get him, Caleb. Get him, Caleb. Pretty trout, pretty trout. Oh, Caleb. Let him go. Oh, no. All right, so everybody thinks for speckled trout in deep water, you want winter time, you want cold conditions. That's definitely true. However, this time of year, every year, the trout retreat to this deep water again. And the reason is you get a croaker spawn. You get little baby croakers that hide out in this deep water on the ledges. And those trout move in there to have a feast. They get really fat this time of year eating these croakers. And I get really fat this time of year eating those speckled trout. Caleb's got him. Get him, Caleb. I don't want you to miss this one. Come on, get that fish in the boat. Yeah, is that a red? <laughs> oh. Yeah, it's a baby red. Let him go, Caleb. Yeah. Joel's hooked up. Nice trout. Let's see what we got. Let's see what we got. Yeah, that's a keeper trout. Oh, big buddy. There we go. We'll take that all day. Now, I much prefer doing this style of fishing with a rising tide. Well, we got her here early this morning and the tide's falling. We got just the tail end of the fall. It's barely trickling out. I know we're gonna have a nice lull somewhere in the next few minutes, but once that tide starts rolling in, I think we're gonna whack them. All right, so we picked up five or six fish real quick and this tide was trickling out, but now it's just dead, done. So we're gonna head east to go intercept that rising tide. We should cross it at some point, And then I really like our chances. So next stop, hopefully we'll sink the boat. Let's see. All right, we've come to another spot that I really like on a rising tide, <laughs> but the tide's actually falling much harder here than it was at our previous stop. So it hasn't made the switch here yet. It's coming, but we'll see.
That's a fish. That, oh, Joel's got one. I lost mine. I think he's. I think he's 12. So you know what that means, Joel. Got some bad news for you. No, I know. I don't want to catch the next fish. You got to measure him though. Nope. He might be a pro bass. If he's a keeper, you got to get the clicker. Man, he'd be 11 inches. And if he's 12, you better keep him. <laughs> I think he's 12. So you had one, we had, we oh yeah, yeah. Time. I had a fish on. He smoked me too. Yeah, he is under. Throwing back. Oh, Definite hit. Yeah, it's Caleb. Caleb. Oh, Caleb Meyer. Swing him this way or that way. All right, that's a twelve. That's a twelve. Nice. Caleb, you know what? That's some bad news, though, son. son <laughs> you know why? <laughs> you got to find the clicker. <laughs> no special privilege in this boat just because you're a just because you're a guest. Yeah, just put your rod up. I'm gonna be paying for it. <laughs> oh, he's not. Son, he's 15. Is that fi that fish is not even close? Yeah. All right, let him go. You I'm don't saying, you don't have to get the clicker. I'll be fine, dude. That's a keeper. That's a keeper. There we go. That's what I am talking about, clicker boy. Clicker boy. Call Joel the clicker boy. I, I know what I'm. I know what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna teach you boys a lesson in trout fishing 101. How can we not have a clicker? Keep looking. It's in the salt box. I'm almost sure. We got two clickers, don't we? No, we have one. It's not in the salt box. Who would take it out? That's what I want to know. Why would we take it out? I don't know. Well, I have to keep track by hand. There's a fish. There's a fish. I told you, trout fishing 101. I told you. <laughs> nice. See, I don't catch those small ones that you two clowns catch. I just got a 14 incher. I catch keepers. I catch keepers, crooking males. There he is, boy, he hit it on the initial fall. He's not big though. I don't know if he's gonna make the no, cut. He's gonna keep. No, he's yeah, little. He's, gonna keep. he's, he's gonna little. Keep. 100%. He's surfing on in. 12 incher all day, maybe, <laughs> maybe not. <laughs> I'll tell you this, he'll spend a little time on the measuring tape, but I don't think he's gonna make it. I'll tell you, he's closer than I thought he was, but. Close doesn't count. Well, Mr. Game Warden, he was close. Yeah, he was close. Huh? And he was really chunky. <laughs> right. What about girth? <laughs> we had a little girth in there. Fish on, fish on. Oh, yeah. He's, oh, I see the line he's, running. He's about as big as your last one. No, I see him running. He's got some shoulders. That's a keeper. That's a keeper. Get in the boat, buddy. Get in the boat. Yeah, it's a keeper, no doubt. That's a good fish. Yeah. Oh, Caleb. Whoa, he's hooked up. Caleb's a quiet fish hooker. Get him this way, boy. Nice. Joel, go take a quick picture of Caleb. Please. Is he bloody? Yeah. Uh, well, I think uh, you uh, let him take whoa, it a little deep. Whoa, whoa. <laughs> you might have let him take it a little deep there, buddy. It's all right. It's a way to make sure you get him. Oh, look at this. Look, 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 look. Oh, okay, look. That. That's why these fish are here. See, I was talking about the baby croakers. Look at this. Look what this fish just spit up. He just ate that, too. Yeah, that's why these fish are here. He just ate that, and then he freaking gulped. Gluttony killed that poor trout. There's a fish. There go. Got the hook in that one. Can we get a two for ten? Can you get a trout upside the head? Look at this guy. Look at him. Nice. That's a keeper. Surfing on in. Come on, buddy. You tried to lose him. Tried my best. Numero diez. All right, so catching these fish, there are a few important keys. Absolutely essential, actually. Now, you're fishing deep water, and a lot of times I find the bite to be best this makes no sense, but it's the truth. 
casting down current. So you've got to let your bait get down. If you don't have success doing this, it's because you're fishing too fast. I can tell you, Caleb, when he started today, this kid's got a lot of fishing experience. When he started today, he's fishing too quickly. But since he's learned to keep the bait down, he started whacking the fish. So you got to cast. And eat a sandwich or something. Let it fall. Let it go all the way down. Feed it line so it falls. And when the lure stops taking line, like it just did, pick it up and put it down. Make sure it gets back down to the bottom. Pick it up and put it down. Now almost invariably, you get your bite when it immediately starts to fall. You'll be at the top of picking it up right here and it starts to fall and that's when he nails it. Bad thing with that is you really don't have anywhere to go on a hook set. So for that reason, when I fish this way, always a medium heavy rod with braided line. Now of course I put a leader on that braided line, but I don't want that fish to have any room to take anything. I don't want any elastic in the line. I want to be able to hit him because I'm not going to have a far distance to go with that rod. Now sometimes they hit you way at the top and you almost have to reel in and, and hit him, but usually by then he spit it out because they don't hold them long. They realize quickly something's up. This isn't legitimate. But the great thing about this way of fishing is feeling that hard tap. And let me tell you, it's springtime right now. So those fish are really aggressive. Right now the water temperature is 71 degrees. That's right in their wheelhouse. Like they love that. They're at their most aggressive when the water's in the 70s. So they're not being bashful at all when they're hitting the bait. And you should not be bashful on the hook set. This goes on all over the entire coast and very few people do it. My experience is that it lasts about six weeks from about April 1st to about mid-May. Some years it's earlier, some years it's later, but today is April 2nd, and it's definitely happening now. And Joel's got one. Let's see if we can get in the boat. Oh, big bass. Is it a bass? I think it's a big bass. <laughs> yeah. yeah, nice bass. Oh, pretty fish. Nice. See, people think you gotta run the salty water to catch speckled trout. It's absurd. We're catching redfish, bass, and speckled trout, and I promise this water doesn't have five parts per thousand of salinity. These fish are still fattening up for the spawn. These fish that are inside have not made the move yet. And they won't for a little while. Now there are definitely some fish outside spawning. You go outside, you're gonna catch some fish. But why run all that distance when there are so many fish still in this inside water? There he is. All right, that's a good trout. That's a keeper. Come on, boy. Look at you feeling your oats. That's a good fish. That's a good oh, fish. Yeah. What are you two boys doing? You see, this is why we're missing a bunch of them. Well, I don't think that one's gonna. Right, that's what I'm saying. They're just little guys. I mean, look how little that's this fish strange. is. You need to get out there and eat. Okay, go eat. Eat some croakers. Fill up. See you in a couple weeks. Redfish. Uh. <laughs> Get in the boat, buddy. Oh, yeah, Welcome baby. aboard, sailor. I don't understand. I'm looking right next to you. You gotta let it fall. You're getting too impatient. Let it fall and just bop, hop it up and let it fall again. And hey, look. Maintain contact on the way down. Let it kind of pendulum. You're dropping your rod way too quickly. Oh, it's a bass. <laughs> Is it? You were in that grass, that's why. Bass. Good job, Caleb. There we go. Good trout. Swing him this way. And Joel, we got a double. Swing him this way, Caleb. Nice. Good fish. Give me that. Good fish. Good fish. He's a keeper. I don't know. We want any reds? No. No, let him go. They are right on that point, huh? right on the corner. I'm throwing it too Because look, I'm not, I'm not getting bit. Well, I just did. Bet, trout, nice. I don't know if he, Yeah, he's going to make it. He will make it. Number 19. You think? Absolutely. 
Go measure him. Absolutely. Absolutely, go measure him. Absolutely, just to be safe. Look at this kid. Look at this kid, Caleb. You punk. Dude, you just threw right there. I know. Caleb, you're uninvited on the next trip. Dude, that's a good one. Jerk. Nice. Look at this kid. Greedy and selfish, Caleb. <laughs> yeah, but he's not. Whoa. Well, he's he might he, he's kind of growing. Man, I don't catch red fish. It's a big old trout. There we go. Nice. That's what we came for, boys. That's a nice trout. I don't know if he's all that nice, but I think he's going to make the cut. And that's all that matters today. Yes. Yes, indeed. Grunting, grunting. Sorry to say you won't make the spawn this year. Hopefully some of your kids will. Maybe your daddy, your cousin Willie. Uncle Joe. Uncle Joe. Let's make sure you're 12. Oh, yeah. I had one on. <laughs> there we go. That's uh, a third of our limit, boys. Yep. This is awesome. I love this deep bite. I don't know, buddy. I don't know if you're fish number 26 or not. I think you might be. I think you might be. Let's see, we'll put you on the four. Oh man. 13 inches. Oh, fish, fish, big one. Good job, Caleb. No. That's a keeper. Good job, Caleb. Nice fish. Oh, that's a good fish. That's a pretty one. Come on in, boy. Come on in, boy. Nice. That's a good trout. A special trout. Look, dude, it's all over. You should never hit this. Does that look like a baby croaker to you? No, it's blue and chartreuse. No croaker is blue and chartreuse. There he is! There he is! Six minutes to really men. Man, as big as he is, it might take seven minutes. Come on, Trout. Get in the boat, buddy! Yes! Thanks for the fight, Trout. Thanks for the fillets. You're invited to dinner. Oh, there we go! You see, I just needed to get back here where I could access them. Yeah. Teach you boys how to catch these trout. Come on, come on, come on. This is a little one. Oh, all right, he's going to make it. He's bigger than I thought he was. He's just weak. He's weak. He'll be nice and tender because he's weak. So this water today is spectacular. And believe me, that's helping us catch these fish. So I'm throwing a limbo slice. You would think, okay, that might be overkill with this pretty water. But you got to figure at the depths we're catching the fish, we're probably catching them 12 to 15 feet down. It's not a whole lot of light penetration. So I like something that's going to show up in that deeper water. And I feel like this bait does. Every year, uh, this bait has probably only been out maybe, how long, Joel, two or three years? Yeah, not long. Maybe three years, I'm going to say. And ever since it came out, this has definitely been my most productive bait fishing this deep water pattern. Now, believe me, I'm not tied to this. If it's not producing, I'm going to try some other stuff. But I feel like this has high viz and that little bit deeper water. Now, obviously, I'm throwing this on a 3 8 ounce jig head. We don't have a ton of tile movement today. We're still fishing at the end of this fall. I can't believe this water hasn't started rising yet. So I could maybe get away with a quarter ounce. But I'm doing really well with this 3 8 so I'm sticking with this. There are times that I have to go with a half ounce when that tide is really, really ripping. But I don't like those days. They're not as productive. Sometimes I will fish a 3 8 and a quarter ounce on a double rig. 
to try and get down on those really, really big tide days. Now, you know, this spring has been windy. Now today it's not, man. Today is blowing like five miles an hour. It's absolutely gorgeous out here, but I know it's supposed to blow the rest of the week. The great thing about this pattern though, is you're really protected. Fishing these bayous, the wintertime bayous that have good current, man, they're great this time of year. All right, so I know what I'm gonna be doing for the next six weeks. <laughs> I'm gonna be fishing deep bayous all over the coast. This is a fun time of year. This is when I eat my most speckled trout because they're so easy to catch. So be looking for more videos on this technique. Hopefully you enjoyed this one. If you did, give it a thumbs up and definitely subscribe to Marshman Masson on YouTube. Until next time, we'll see you here in the marsh. We'll see you on Marshman Masson.